بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful praise be to Allah peace be upon the prophet Muhammad his family his companions uh, uh, I would like to uh, welcome you to our seminar today and uh, it's going to be about a very important aspect uh, related to our safety in this planet, on this planet. <coughs> uh, we live in, on this planet, planet safety. While if you wish, um, know what's happening above us, if you know what's happening above us, uh, you will not think that you will live safely at all. The sun, the sun bursts radiation, celestial, celest, celestial bodies are coming everywhere <coughs> from the cosmic. If such radiation and celestial bodies come to our planet, life will not be possible. So, there is the protection, and this is the subject of our seminar today, how the earth is protected against such harmful, harmful radiation and uh, celestial bodies. Allah, the Almighty, who created this planet, is the one who protected. The one who protects it is the one who allow allows us to live safely in this planet, and He told us how He protects us from such harmful, harmful things, how he protects us from such harmful, harmful things mentioned in the Quran. Okay, so Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, وَجَعَنَّ السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا وَهُمْ عَنْ آيَاتِهَا مُعِذُونَ وَجَعَنَّ السَّمَاءَ سَقْفًا مَحْفُوظًا وَهُمْ عَنْ آيَاتِهَا مُعْرِضُونَ This verse is in chapter Al-Anbiya, verse number 32. The corresponding meaning of this verse is this. And we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they from its signs are turning away. This is the first verse from the Quran telling us that we are safely protected from any harmful matter coming from outside, from the space. Okay, this is the first, the first first, the second first. Allah the Almighty said in the Holy Quran, الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء 
Dina. The corresponding meaning of this verse is this. He who made for you the earth a bed, spread out, and the sky a ceiling, the sky a ceiling to protect us. This is in uh, chapter Al-Baqarah, or chapter 2, verse 22. Okay, another verse from the Holy Quran describing how Allah protects us against any harmful matter. Allah said in the Holy Quran also, وَيُمْسِكُ السَّمَاءَ تَقَعَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِالنَّاسِ لَرَعُوهُ الرَّحِيمِ This is chapter Al-Hajj, verse 65. Okay. Corresponding meaning of this verse is this. And he restrains the sky from falling off in the earth unless by his permission. Indeed, Allah to the people is kind and merciful. Indeed, Allah is merciful. Otherwise, we would not be uh, living safely on this planet. Okay. After I presented to you some verses from the Holy Quran about the protection, the protection ceiling, the protection roof, I would like now to present to you the recent findings of science related to this matter, the protection ceiling. Just put in your mind Remember these verses in order to <coughs> glorify Allah the Almighty. Okay. This is a picture of Mitru shower or Mitur shower. Meteor shower, <laughs> celestial bodies, okay, and you have large meters and you have small meters. If such meters, especially the big ones, reach our planet, Everything, every living thing, every living being would be destroyed. Okay? Of course, it happens maybe once in a period and at a specific place. Not in every single spot of the earth, and they noticed such a meter shower. Small and large. So, how the earth is protected from such harmful meters? Allah the Almighty created different layers, different layers above us, called the atmosphere, called the atmosphere. And these different layers are above the Earth's surface. They have different names. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, exosphere, ionosphere, and lastly, 
magnetosphere. These are the different layers of the atmosphere. Allah created these atom atmosphere layers in order to protect us in order to protect the living beings in or on this earth or in this planet okay so let us go step by step in order to see how these layers different atmosphere layers